One of the weakness points of the Figma in terms of creating realistic prototype was that we never could add a user text input inside our prototype that the user can really interact with, type some text inside it. But now we can, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how. So get sure to watch this video until the end. My name is Kia, and here is Akimo. Welcome back to my channel. know that it was a really painful process if we wanted to use the text input inside our user interface in our prototype especially when we wanted to hand over the design to other people like stakeholders or especially if we wanted to use it inside the user test the only way we had was to kind of set some predefined value for the text input and then use the component and prototype it in a way that if the user click on, uh, on the text input then the predefined value appears in the field but that wasn't a really best way but now we can have have some user text input inside the prototype that the user really can type some text inside and even more we can use the value that the user enter into the text field later on to show in another places or use it for another purposes I'm gonna use variables and the conditional prototyping to create a fully functional text input in this video but before we go further with this video if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video now without further ado let's get it started in the first step I'm gonna design the user interface and the app Experience of the text input. I'm gonna pick the text tool and then write down a placeholder inside my viewport. And then I'm gonna apply the auto layout and this layer using the combination key shift A. Then I'm gonna change the color of the text to something darker and add the background color to the whole frame. Then I add a border. The thickness can be something around two pixels. Then I change the color of the border to something a bit lighter and then increase the top and bottom and then left and right margin to 16 pixels. Then I increase the width of this frame and then align everything inside the frame in the left side. We are almost there with the design of the user text input. In the next step, I need to just make a variable, the one that is going to store the value that the user enter into the input. To do so, I'm gonna open up the uh, variable panel and then click on the create variable. I create a new string variable and then I name it text input. I set the initial value to type here. Now I'm gonna connect the text we have inside the input to the variable that we made by clicking on this icon here and then selecting my variable. Now I choose a bit brighter color for the text and convert this frame to the component. In the next step, I'm gonna make a new variant. First, I'm gonna rename the properties of this uh, component to state and then set the name of or the value of the property for the second variant to active. And then I'm gonna change the appearance and style of the second variant I will choose a purple color for the border and increase the darkness of the text in it. So here basically I made a state active for my text input field, which means when the user click on the text input in the default state, and then the appearance of the text input field is going to change and indicate that the text input field is active now. Then I'm gonna open the prototyping panel and connect the first variant to the second one and set the trigger to on click and the transition type in change two. Now I'm gonna make a new frame and then add the component that we made by dragging and dropping it from the asset panel and run the preview to see if the preview is working. Now it's time to work on the functionality of this component. The functionality that will make it possible for the user to really enter a text inside this input. To do so, I'm gonna select the second variant of the text uh, field or uh, the active state. And then I'm gonna create a new interaction. I set the interaction type or the trigger and the key uh, slash key gamepad. Here below the interaction trigger, we see an input which says click to select. After you click on this field, you can set a specific key of the keyboard, which is going to kind of activate or trigger this interaction, which is going to be all the alphabet keys of my keyboard. So I'm gonna start with the key A. So after I click on this input, I click on the A key of the keyboard, and then I'm gonna set the transition type to conditional. As a condition here, I will write down if the text input variable has the value equal with type here, which is the default and initial value, then I want to set the variable text input equal to A. This part of the conditional is for the situation that the text input field is in the default state. The user still did not write anything in it. In the if else section, I will set the variable text input to text input plus A. This part will keep the rest of the letters that the user entered and then only add the new letter to the rest of the characters. 
just for a quick test, uh, I will just run the, and then I click on the A key of the keyboard. I need to repeat this process for all the keys that we have on the keyboard to make all the keys on the keyboard functional. This process might sound be a bit uh, a waste of the time and really repetitive, but you just have in mind that you need to do this once in your life. The rest of the time you can just copy paste the component that you made here and use it in another project. And actually this time I prepared this Figma file and I published it in the community so you can have access to it. You can find the link to this file inside the description of this video. After we add all the logic for whole keys of the keyboard, then our job is almost done. If we run the preview, uh, you can see in the active state we can write down anything that we want using the keyboard. But unfortunately some of the special keys of the keyboard is not working, like the backspace for deleting uh, the text that the user kind of enter inside the input field. So far I didn't work on it to kind of find a way to solve this issue. If you had any idea how we can come up with the solution, please share it with me inside the comment section. But here in this case, I add a delete icon inside my text input field. And I set this interaction for it that when the user click on it, we set the value of the text uh, variable to empty. Now I'm gonna make a small example to show how this text field is working in practice. I'm gonna make a new uh, frame and add my uh, input inside it and then I write a text on top as a label and then I'm gonna make a quick button here submit button and then I duplicate this page I prepare a welcoming text inside the screen the main point here is that we need to have separated text layer uh, for the uh, the one that we want to show the name of the user so I'm gonna use three different text layer and then I'm gonna connect this name text layer uh, to the variable that we made. Now at the end, I add the reset button, which is going to take us back to the first screen. And here is the result. As you can see, we can write down anything that we want. And in the second screen, you can see that the value of the name is going to change based on what the user kind of enter inside the input. I hope you learned something new in this video and if it was so please like this video and subscribe to my channel and please share your feedback and opinions and questions in the comment section again as a reminder I put the link of this Figma file inside the description let's learn together and see you in the next video